Hello guys, Muscle and Tech here and in this video I will show you how to root Lenovo K3 Note. So first of all, from the links, you have to download the Super SU, that is the file that will help you to root. Make sure you copy this to the root of your SD card in your device, in your mobile. Then after that you have to download the Minimal ADB and Fastboot and make sure you download this one even if you have already have one. Why? Because this will have the recovery.img for the clockwork mode installed in it. So extract these files. It's only 9.1 MB so you can download it. So extract these files wherever you want. Make sure you remember where you have extracted it. You will see that the recovery.img is in this folder. Now after that, uh, you have to download the Lenovo PDNet drivers uh, that are provided by Techolati, which is the site which has helped me a lot to understand how to root this device. So once you download this file, that is the raw file, you have to extract this again anywhere you'll remember. And this is the folder where it will be extracted. You'll see PDA not PDA net a4150 something like that you have to extract this and install Ellie phone make sure that your phone is connected and you have uh, installed all the drivers that come phone you'll see it in a CD ROM cyber file as soon as you connect your device after you've installed Ellie phone you have to install PDA net again I'm repeating make sure you have in um, connected your phone to your PC and install all the drivers that comes with it and only then do you have to install all the, these two. Now, after installing Elephone, when you will be installing PDA Net, this will look like this. It will look something like this, and it will say installing USB drivers. And then in your phone, it will prompt you to say allow this computer, and you have to allow debugging. Another very important thing is you have to allow USB debugging. And enable unknown sources in your device. If you don't know how to do it, just take it out. You have to enable unknown sources and USB debugging in your Lenovo K3 Note. Now, once you have allowed the device and everything is done, just finish it. Finish the installation completely. Now, what you have to do is um, after this, you have to go to the minimal ADB and fastboot folder that you just extracted. Press shift and right click anywhere and open command prompt here. Remember to press shift while right clicking. Now after this, my device is not connected at this time. So the commands won't work, but I'll show you how it's done. Devices, it will show something like demon started successfully and there will be a devices. If you see 5E270, something like this and device, that means the phone is connected to the computer. Now you can go ahead with all your uh, commands. After ADB devices, you have to write ADB reboot bootloader. As soon as you type this, your phone should restart. Again, the commands won't. It's saying design not one because I've not yet connected my device. I've already rooted it. But in your case, your phone will reboot and it will uh, ask you to type the next command. If your phone doesn't reboot, do not go ahead. If your phone reboot, then type fast boot. It's not showing properly. It's fast boot flash recovery recovery dot img. I don't know why it's not showing fast boot. It's only showing fine. It's fast boot flash recovery recovery dot img, and it will say flashing something like this. My device not connected yet. But that is why it's showing error. Once it's done, it will say done in this. Then type fast boot reboot. As soon as you do this, your phone will reboot to your norm, uh, normal Android phone and you have successfully installed clockwork mode. Once done, you have to root your device by going into that 